Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? My name is Nathan. This is Roll Masters. So, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. Thanks for asking. Okay, so I get the Roblox S6 Max P, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and take it all apart, and I'll show you all the components that make up this robot. Alright, let's get started. Well, it looks like I need some tools to take this apart. Hold on one second. I want to give a special shout out to Chemo. They actually reached out to me and provided me with a uh, drill to review. This is the Chemo drill. It's a 20 volt drill, has a two hour run time and one and a half hour recharge time. So very, very cool. So when you get your drill, you actually get this nice little carrying bag. And this is a 46 piece set. So here's the charger it comes with. And it comes with one rechargeable battery, but you can always buy extras if you want continuous run time. This drill itself, very, very nice. It has some good weight to it. And it also has, I believe, what, 21 different uh, clutch settings. So yes, if you want uh, to drill wood or hard surfaces, just crank this up to 21 and it gives you the max torque. But something for like this, a lot of application, I'm going to drop it down to like a 3 or 4. You also have the ability to uh, change what type of application you use. You can use drill, screws, or impact drill. So very, very nice. Here's the rechargeable battery. It just slips right on and you're good to go. So you have a nice little light right here. And one nice thing that I haven't seen before is you actually have a little battery indicator right here. Green for charge, yellow, and red. Cool. Here are the drill bits that it comes with. And you also have a nice dongle for uh, hard to reach places. It's flexible, put your drill bit right here or your screwdriver bit right here and you get into small areas. And lastly, here's a quick look at what it comes with. This is like a 46 piece set, so very, very cool. Comes with all the bits you need. So I promise these instructions have seen better days. It wasn't all crumpled up. I actually just tossed them in the bag. But they provide all the basic information about the drill set. So make sure you check out the link in the description below if you need a new drill set. And we'll check out how well the chemo drill does. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is power down the robot. So we'll go ahead and hold down the power button for a few seconds. Turning on. Once the robot's turned up, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the uh, components that you can remove without any tools. So the first thing we can do is open up this flap lid here, and we can remove the little cleaning tool. Very cool. We can also remove the dustbin, and keep in mind that the Roblox dustbin is washable to filter itself and that actual dustbin. So very very nice. Remove. Let's go ahead and remove the water tank. Yes, this guy backing and bobs at the same time. Let's go ahead and flip this guy over. And now we're going to remove the extractor bars. Remove the housing. And the extractor bar itself. Why in the world would I need to take my robot apart? Well, if you had like a bad component, sometimes you can actually find the component and replace it yourself instead of having to replace the entire robot. So for example, I had the original Roblox S5 and I had a bad LiDAR sensor. So all I had to do was remove this top part and remove a couple screws to get to the LiDAR sensor and I swapped it out. It was an easy plug and play operation. So we'll see if the Roblox S6 Max V is the same uh, concept. Okay, so for the original Roblox S5, all I have to do is remove this plate here. It's just a pressure fit. So just get your uh, fingers under here. Some force to get at it, but it just removes all apart. Let's go along the edges here. And there you go. You guys see that? Alright, so here's a look at the button control board. Uh, one nice thing is, if you have gloves on, you can still work this robot since it has physical buttons. I know on some robots, they use capacitive touch, so you have to actually remove your gloves because they use electricity to detect if there's a finger or not. But with physical buttons, you don't have to worry about that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and remove these three screws. Also remove these six screws that hold on the flappy lid. Okay, I got the control board removed, and I also have the uh, six screws that hold on the flap lid removed. So let's go and get that removed. I wonder if you could change colors, maybe get a, a white cover for this thing. Alright, here's a quick look at that. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove the lighter housing. Uh, one thing to remember is there is like a little piece of paper. So Roblox does know if you actually got into your robot. So this will avoid your warranty as a disclaimer. So if you're not comfortable doing that, I highly recommend just going to Roblox and they could probably repair your robot for you. But from this case scenario, I was able to replace the lighter sensor. I do have experience with electronics. So that's just something to consider. And you may notice I don't have an ESD strap. I highly recommend you doing that because any electrostatic could damage your robot. But just, this is a warning. Okay, let's go and uh, remove this housing right here. 
So there's actually four screws and there's a couple screws that are actually underneath this little rubber uh, gasket right here. Okay, so once you get the four screws removed, you can actually just lift up the cover. Uh, one thing to notice is there's actually a pressure sensor. So this lets it know if it's hitting low hanging furniture. So that's a nice touch. Okay, now here's the actual light sensor. Just remove the four screws. You can just lift up and pull out your light sensor. Let's get a quick look at this. You may notice that uh, orange band. That's actually a belt driven system. There's the drive motor and there's the light sensor. So for my original S5, the actual motor burnt out, I believe it was the brushes. So I could have either replaced the actual motor for like 50 cents, but instead I just bought a whole entire unit for like 100 bucks. Guys, can see look there? Okay, spin around. Okay, so the first manufacturer to come out with light up based navigation for the robots was the Nido. Uh, it was like, what, five years, six years ago? Uh, and one thing to note is these are angular based light up sensors. So what that means is it points out a laser. Right here, here's the actual projector right there. And there's a receiver. It will actually notice the angle where the laser bounced off the object. This is a time of flight sensor where it actually measures the distance, how long it takes the laser to hit and come back. The reason why it's not time of flight is there's too much processing power required. So to keep the price down, they use an angular system and Nido was the very first uh, well, vacuum manufacturer to include that. So very, very cool. I really like these LiDAR sensors. Inside, so here's the inlet port and where the dustbin goes, this is where you house the cleaning tool. And now down in there is actually a little physical button that's for that pressure sensor. So it's just a physical button. Also, you have a little spring right here, and then this is the extractor motor right here, this little silver canister drives the extra extractor motor. And then down here is um, some wires for the actual LiDAR sensor. So very, very cool. This guy flipped around. Okay, so we got a bunch of screws to remove the base plate, and then underneath the base plate, there's another set of screws. But before we do that, we do have to take out one screw for the side brush. On some models, you can just pull up or they're held on by magnets. But for this instance, it's held on by a single screw. Also, we're going to remove the front wheel caster. The wheel itself can get removed by just using a flathead. And then underneath that is a couple screws that holds the wheel caster mounting. So let's go and uh, get those removed. Alright, so I got the front wheel caster removed, I got the side brush removed, and I removed six screws. Uh, did you know the size of the screw? It's actually black, so make sure you put in the right screws for your base plate. Uh, they're actually a different size, or you could strip out the actual post. Alright, let's go ahead and get this removed. And now you notice that now I have the two drive wheels. I got the ability to remove the side brush motor and remove the battery. So before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this battery. It's held by a pressure clip. And it's really easy to remove. Let's have a look at this battery. Alright, so here's a look at the nameplate of the battery. It's a good sized battery. I believe it's like 5200 milliamp hours. And then there's your connector. It's just a uh, connector clip. Uh, real easy to just remove. Just try not to pull on the wires or you could damage them. Alright, I went ahead and removed the uh, three screws that held on the side brush motor. Just lift up. Very, very cool. This is just held on by uh, two uh, power contacts down below. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove this front bumper. It's held on by uh, eight little screws. And we'll actually check out the front facing camera. Yes, this guy uses front facing camera for optical recognition. But sometimes the UR vacuums use the camera for navigation. Alright, so I got the eight screws removed. It's held on by a pressure fitting. So this plastic part actually removes. This is the actual bumper. Now, one thing you may notice is the little lens cover. I may have to clean this up, so that's one thing you might want to do. So it's pretty easy to remove this part just by the eight screws if you want to clean your uh, lens cover. Okay, so here's a look at the physical bump sensor. You may notice these two springs here. Yes, that keeps the bumper away from these two little switches here on the left and right. So how the logic works is if both these switches are pressed in, it knows it hit the objects in the front here, if one of these are pressed in, it's either the left or right side of the robot. So very, very cool. And with the Roblox S6 Max V, you got that front facing camera for optical recognition.
Well, this thing feel lighter already. I wonder if it still works. Okay, let's go over the components here. So up top here is the main control board. Houses the CPU. Also, there's a camera module. Can you guys see that? Check out that camera module. It's a dual eye system. Uh, there's a kind of like a wide angle lens and more of a narrow view. Also, there's an infrared sensor, so it can see in the dark. So very very cool feature. Now you notice know, all these little connectors here. This is for the actual physical bump sensors. Also for the infrared sensors are all connected to the main module. Now, the silver canister here is the drive motor for the extractor bar. It's one of the largest motors in the lower vacuum because it has to drive the extractor bar and pick up all that dirt and debris. Now, since this is the S6 Max V, it does have the electronically controlled uh, water system. So it uses a mechanical pump system. So this is a uh, inlet and outlet tank. Uh, so what happens is it actually draws water from the back here. You see that little port right there and the hose and then it actually feeds it up through and in the back here which I'll show. So very very nice. Okay so here's the fan motor. Let's go ahead and uh, get this removed. I'll give you guys a quick look inside the fan unit and we'll see if we can remove the drive motor as well. Alright, so that's basically everything I get removed without uh, destroying something or breaking something. I did try to remove the circuit board, but these wires up front were really hard to get removed, the connectors. Uh, there wasn't enough wire length, so I didn't want to put a lot of stress on these wires. Also, I tried to remove the uh, wheel housings or the drive wheels, but they were held on by a pin, and there's some special punch-out tool you need to remove that pin to remove the drive assembly. Um, also, I tried to remove the extractor bar but for some reason it's held on I don't know if there's another like pin down here that's held on probably some specialized tool so for repairability score I give it a 5 out of 10 some components like getting to the vacuum motor and also removing the light out sensor were really easy but other components like uh, the extractor bar motor and also the drive wheels are really difficult also if you have to replace the camera it would be very difficult to remove the circuit board Alright, I wish I had a magical unicorn to get this all put together for me because this is probably take me hours to put back together. Oh, hey, 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 did you call a magical unicorn to the rescue? Oh, hey, Sparkles. It looks like you broke your robot. What did you do? Yeah, I kind of destroyed it. Hey, uh, Sparkles, you want to put this back together? Yeah, for boss lucky charm. Sure, okay, I'll give you some lucky charm. One, okay, two, you said a face two, because I know my fluff is very delicate. Three. Well, there you go, Nathan. It's all built for you. Uh, Sparkles, it's not done yet. Well, that sucks to be you because I do have magical powers. I'm gonna go eat my lucky charms now. Just kidding, just kidding. Don't hate the magical unicorn. All right, let's go and do it for real. Whoa, Sparkles, you're amazing. That's amazing. Uh, but the real question does it work? Really, Nathan, you crushed my magical powers. How about I just undo this? Yep, you can go ahead and build it yourself. That's such an. Don't insult. change your back. Okay, I like it like that. I, I trust you. Well, that's what you get for crushing my magical powers. I can build anything. It's not like I'm building a test right here. It's just a basic world of back. All right, see you later. I'm pissed off. I'm gonna go eat my lucky charms. Well, looks like it works. Sweet. So if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan, this is Royal Masters. I do a lot of head-to-head -head challenges, unboxings, I do teardowns, all the cool stuff with blowout vacuums and other products. Alright, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. See you later.